what is up YouTube today is September 27th soon to be September 28th in a few hours it is currently almost 10 o'clock right now we've got about 10 minutes till 10 o'clock and I am here in New Jersey we are hoping to find some cool tropical drifters would be the main goal today. I don't know how well we're going to do with that um, because it is pretty windy out right now. We had that hurricane, I guess you would call it a hurricane or reminisce of a hurricane um, this past weekend and the weather was pretty darn crappy around here. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to find something cool that has been washed in or washed around from that hurricane. So I'm going to start by trying to net us some shrimp to use for bait and then we will go from there. So you guys stick around and stay tuned and hopefully I can find something cool for us. I do have a new photo tank that I want to test out, but we got to find something cool to put in it first. But water's a little churned up and muddy, so we'll see if we can get anything. All right, guys, so far, uh, nothing. Um, have seen a few mummy chogs and some silver sides. Um, I netted one of the silver sides just to make sure it was just an Atlantic silver side because some more tropical species of silver side have washed into this area um, this past summer, about a month ago. So I was checking to make sure it wasn't one of those, but it was just your normal Atlantic silver side. So nothing special. Water is still pretty churned up here, but it's not quite low tide yet so I'm hoping things will chill out then but low tide is in about an hour and a half so I might be doing a decent bit of waiting not waiting in the water but waiting like waiting out some time but I'm here now I already drove the hour and a half to to get here my second spot's gonna be better at low tide so i might as well just stick out the hour and a half here and then go there we'll see all right guys so this right here is an example of what i've been getting there's a rock on it right now but that is a atlantic silver side now i haven't caught one on hook and line yet i have in the past but not today because they don't cooperate too well at night. They're actually easier during the day, in my experience. But that is what they look like right there. That is not a rough silver side, which have been sighted here before. That is just your standard Atlantic silver side. That and mummy chogs is all I've seen for certain so far. The tide is still going down pretty rapidly, actually. Low tide is set to be peaked at 12.58 a.m., which is longer than what I previously anticipated. I knew it was. Look at all the silver sides over there. See, so like, just giant schools of these things, and they are all Atlantic silver sides. Plenty of these guys to go around. A lot of game fish feed on these guys, but we already have them on their life list, so not what we're after. If they had more blue on them and some black blotches down the side, then we'd be talking, but those are just plain old Atlantics. Looks like there's some mummy chogs in here. Yep. That is a mummy chog right there, part of the killifish genus. That little guy in there is also a mummy chog, but this guy, that is prime mummy chog right there. 
these guys we also have on the life list. Fundalus heterocletus. We're primarily on the lookout for blennies or anything of that sort. Blennies or gobies. But haven't seen anything like that pop up. Just a lot of silver sides and mummy chogs, which are pretty boring fish if you ask me. Alright guys, we got our first fish that is somewhat interesting. That is a striped killifish there. It's our first fish on hook and line tonight. Not the most exciting thing, but I don't catch too many of these, so a fish is a fish. We will take that. I'm gonna get this guy some water and then we're gonna let him go. I'm not gonna debut the photo tank on this guy because he is something I've already caught before. But I will at least get a shot for him since he's on camera. Let me get some water first. Got a few decent shots of our little striped killifish there. Now we're gonna let him go back in the water. Something a little bit more interesting than a mummy chog or Atlantic silver side. Haven't seen any gobies yet, but we will keep our eyes peeled. I'm gonna move my gear back over here and continue looking into the water here, see if anything interesting peaks up. All right, guys, I captured our second species. This was caught on hook and line, but fell off the hook. I believe this to be a seaboard goby. Now this one I might put in the photo tank just to get some better shots of this guy. But I think that spot there on the base of the tail, I don't know if you can see that, but I believe that's characteristic of uh, seaboard goby. Oh, I don't know if this guy has any scales, which could make it a naked goby. I'm just gonna put him in there with a the shrimp until I get the other photo tank set up. Alright, guys, I just went ahead and released our goby. 99.8% sure that was just a seaboard goby. I don't believe that to be a naked goby. If it was, that would be a new species for us, but I don't believe it was. I believe it was just a basic seaboard goby, which seems to be more common, which is the opposite of what I originally thought before I started doing this saltwater micro fishing. I thought seaboard was the harder one to get, but apparently not. But that makes two species on hook and line and four different species that we've observed from the first spot. I haven't seen anything else that's really caught my eye yet. I did see the tail of a northern pipefish, but I did not see the head. And you kind of need to see the head to put a bait in front of it. So that did not work out, but maybe we'll get lucky and see another one hiding amongst the weeds. Wind is still gusting, which is unfortunate, but hopefully the uh, tides are still relative and don't turn against us. Alright guys, I'm not sure what it is I just caught there, but whatever it is, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and take a shot of this guy, and then I'm going to let him go. I think it might be some sort of sand lance or some sort of half beak, but I'm not 100% sure. Well guys, I can't say for certain what that fish was, 
I think it was a species of sand plants, or at least it looks very similar. But I don't know if they really swim on the surface like that one was. Other thing I'm thinking is it could be a species of half beak, which I've been seeing around the area, but I'm not really an expert, so I'll send it some people or send that those pictures to someone that knows more than me. And I'll uh, include the pictures at some point in the video. But yeah, not really sure what that was to be exact. Alright guys, I don't know if I said anything about it, but I made my way to the second spot here. And I've been walking the sandbar for a good long while now. And surprisingly enough, I haven't found anything interesting that I can see. I mean, I'm only one person and there's a lot of ground here to cover. So, very good chance that I missed something or am walking over something, but I don't know where these fish are at. I mean, this sandbar is pretty big. I'm about 40, 50 feet off of the shoreline right now, walking in this water, and it's only like six to eight inches deep, maybe a foot but not very deep at all. And supposedly this is where some of the exotic stuff gets washed in. There's a chance with some of the storms we had it got washed out. Something I think like a big kill a fish or something that was by my foot. Nothing that we need. We're on the lookout for black cheek tongue fish, smallmouth flounder, and short big eye. Whether we'll find any of these things, doubtful, but maybe we get lucky. The short big eye would stick out pretty well if they're around. They're like orange and have big reflective eyes, but the smallmouth flounder, black cheek tongue fish, we could step over and never even know if we're not careful. So far, all I've seen are silver sides in this. Oh, I don't know what that was, but it made a bigger splash. Probably a needlefish would be my guess, which I still need, so. If there's needlefish around, I don't spook one. That would be a good addition. All right, guys, I walked to the end of that sandbar and now I'm walking back. You might be able to see or not see that stuff's a little a little chocolate up here. Can't really see the bottom too well, which means can't tell if there's any fish down there. I don't know if it's always like this. I want to blame it on the recent weather we had. Everything getting churned up and the wind that is still howling is not helping the situation either. I was going to continue on a little bit, but then one of the soles fell off the bottom of my waders and not ideal, not ideal. So probably going to head back to the car now and go home. It's probably best that I do anyway. I'm pretty tired. I got to drive to a Phillies game tomorrow. Ah. Gotta drive to a Phillies game tomorrow night, We're playing the Pirates. They won the past two games and clinched the postseason, so hopefully I can get to see them win another one tomorrow. But we shall see. It's unfortunate that the fishing did not work out all that well. 
We did catch the one new species which was confirmed to be a species of sand lance. The problem is that that species cannot be identified any further at that time. So sand lance is not the proper identification, but that's like, I guess the genus name that it's in. I think the proper one is amidites or something like that. But yeah, so that is what we call it, not a species of half beak. Wind is still picking up pretty good. That's those 24 mile per hour gusts they were talking about. So we're going to be walking it back to the car here. And uh, driving back home to Pennsylvania where we will sleep and wake up and go to the Phillies game. Let's do it all over again. So not a very long video, but probably still uploaded just because I need to get something out there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit that was filmed. I know it was dark and you couldn't really see much, but hopefully it was somewhat enjoyable. If you did find it enjoyable, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next episode of The Ville Outdoors.